1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. <clears throat> Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are going to call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are going to call Jesus, Bahashem, Rakakodash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And Lord will this lesson be edifying to the LA. I'm going in today on following chain of command shows your faith. Following chain of command shows your faith. And the chain of command I'm talking about is in this truth, you know, within the body. And I, ain't, I ain't talking about at work, even though, you know, we should, uh, what scripture say, uh, if at all possible, be at peace with all men. So even at work, you know, when we, uh, anything that we're uh, connected to, you know, that's why the scripture talk about for us to honor our father and mother. You know, that's a chain of command. That's where, you know, it starts at. Some of us, <clears throat> we, we may not have been raised with mother and father. You know, it might have been whether we were in the system or whether you was in, uh, you know, raised by your grandmother or whatever, whatever it was. But it was always some type of authority within your life, you know, that we were supposed to be following, that we should be following. You know, order is a must within this truth. You know, just because we, we uh, abide by the scriptures. That definitely shouldn't be a reason for us to not, you know, to have some order. That's the uh, uh, a main thing that we should, you know. And then you got uh, the military. They they uh they get a lot of they they uh, tactics and they ways from the scriptures, you know. But within its truth, it should uh definitely become uh when, when you first. That's one of the first things you begin to learn coming into this, you know, is to abide by order, whether you on the other side of the line, you know, wanting to come over into the, you know, into the, to the church, quote unquote, into, you know, the body, you know, you learn how to keep your tongue, you know, because a lot of times the questions that you may have <clears throat> being on the other side will, will get answered. It just takes uh time being patient and then of course sometimes you know the spirit will have you where you do you know just go out and just ask the question because you know it may not it may be something whether it's different or personal or whatever but a lot of times the questions we have concerning the scriptures while we out there in the highways and the hedges you know i just could remember you know it wasn't that long ago i was on the other side and and while i was waiting the Lord will to be crossed over to, you know, meaning to come into the, to the body, to the fellowship of the, of the brotherhood. Hey, uh, it was so many questions that was running through my head. You know, I would write them down. And, and before I knew it, the questions were being answered. You know, it wasn't very, it wasn't many questions that I had to ask. Between me watching the lessons, the videos, and, uh, coming out to the highways and hedges and, and just being amongst the brothers on the other side. And as they teach, as they taught, you know, the questions were being answered between that and the videos. Am I, am I reading for myself and studying, doing my own studying and research? A lot of times the questions would become answered and it's still like that to this day. You know, any questions I have, sometimes I'll take a step back or I would just look it up for myself. But the point is, you know, having a uh, order in this in this truth of ours, you know, it's a chain of command and we should abide by it. You know, of course, we got um, we got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and that's that's the main, you know, order. And then it start. It goes down from there from, you know, the apostles and then the elders. And then, you know, of course, the, uh, the camp leader in your whatever camp you in. And then it, it goes down from there, you know, 
But the point is just having a chain of command. So I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures and just show, man, that us uh, following a chain of command shows our faith, you know, because we believe that, you know, each brother, we treat him as, you know, Yahweh Shai. And we believe that men, whether they came in after you or they came before you, that they were putting those those positions through Yahweh Shem Shah, through the spirit, they were set there, you know, and if they were there before you, you know, a lot of times that's who we fall up under, who you will fall up under. So we believe that, and I'm going to show it, you know, in the scripture where how Yahweh Shah was like that. And he showed that, hey, those that follow a chain of command, that, hey, that shows our, our, our faith, man, whether we have it or we don't have it. So I'm going to go back to this, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and in order. There must be uh, a order in this. You know, it can't be things that's out of order. It's not of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Just look at the order of our body, you know, how it how it functions. Look at the the how the earth is ran, you know, when it's when it's not being when Esau's hand's not in it, you know. When when things are done in his natural uh Habitat in a natural way, everything runs in decently and in order. <laughs> just like in gardening, they got a no-till uh, gardening. Basically, uh, you don't do nothing to the ground. You know, it just based off of how how the uh, how the earth would would take care of itself. So basically, you you have a seed that would drop from a from a from a plant that was there. It will drop. It will begin to grow. Then it, as it grows, it has leaves. The leaves fall. The leaves fall. And that that actually produces the fertilizer and the, the covering that it needs for that for that plant, for that particular plant to be able to, you know, thrive. And it's all like a, a it's a, what they call that a circle of life, you know, because then you had the worms that come around that eat, you know, and then they 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 uh, push out a. Uh, what is it called? Uh, basically, they their uh, feces, the worm feces, but it's very uh, good for the for the uh, for the earth. You know, I forget the name of what they call it. Who will maybe to come back to me? But the point is, it's the feces from the worm, and that produces a uh, uh, high uh, nutrients for the earth. But let me get this next one. This is a. Uh, This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14, and I'm going to just go up some 14 and 33. <clears throat> and it says, For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace in all, as in all churches of the saints. So he under, he's letting us know, man, that amongst the body, it's gonna, he, he's not the one that causes any type of confusion. If it's confusion, we got to watch, you know, we got to watch it. If something that comes in, in the body and it creates confusion, something, something's up. That's that's a like a, a telltale sign. If something begins to start causing some type of confusion and things don't smoke uh flow smoothly, hey, it's it's that's like a, a sign to you know really to, to check it. Even in our own personal life, you know, when something begins to be off, when it starts to be uh things out of whack, we have to uh do as the scripture talk about to examine ourselves, you know, that's the, that's what the point is to get everything aligned to make sure everything is on the up and up and straight because Hey, like that saying, uh, we only strong as our weakest link and us being as a body, we got to all be strong, man. We can't, we can't uh, afford to bring weakness into the body. That's why we, you know, we pray. That's why we fast. That's why we study. So when we come together, you know, we even stronger. We don't we do our best not to lack. That's why we eat correctly. You know, we try to eat healthy. You know, we do our best. That's why we exercise. Exercise profit little, but it profits. So we know we do these things to help better enhance ourselves as individuals, but also as a body. So it says, for the most high is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let me get this next one. This is uh First Peter's chapter five and 
verse 5. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For the Most High resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. It takes humility to be, to fall in order, you know, to follow that chain of command. Because without it, you know, there's disorder. And, and without it, you know, there's, there's confusion. But having that humility, and it takes that, you know, it takes humility to be able to, you know, to humble yourself to an order that's placed before you. That was there before, you know, you came. Whether it's the man above you that came in before you, whatever. If it's, if it's some type of, it's an order that's all set up and it's all through the spirit. And it don't matter about our age. You know, our, our, our physical age, this thing is spiritual. That's why you got brothers that, that they may have came in before and they're, they're uh, younger than other brothers that came in that are older. And that's how it is for me. I'm a, I'm a older Jay, you know, but a, a, a lot of the brothers, they, they are, are younger than me, but it's still through the spirit that they came in before me, you know, and they older in the spirit. And that's what counts. That's why we we uh, put off the old man. We became new creatures. Uh, so that's why it, it it takes being humble. And uh, as the scriptures say right here, it says, "For the Most High resists the proud." He we we won't be allowed in this, especially uh, long term. If if pride comes up, that's what what pushes a man out of his truth. Pride. It said, but he give grace to the humble. You know, he's gonna he's gonna uplift the the humble. He's gonna he's gonna continue to you know deal with us as long as we're being humble. I get this next one. It's uh Second Corinthians five and verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new, and that's how we have to see it. We come into this thing as as the scriptures talk about being as as babes. You come into it, you know, we sucking on the milk. We get in the beginner stage, you know. We start, we, we got to crawl before we walk. So, and that's following that order and understanding that hey, we came into this. So fuck our age, fuck how old you are, all that. We got to push that aside. Where are we at spiritually? If we came into this and you spiritually are as a babe, you start off as a as a youngin. And if you had that type of uh, mentality, hey, that that uh, uh, goes a long way with us, you know, with because that shows our humility. So it said, therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature, meaning you start over. You start over. That's that one eighty. Old things are passed away. We leave that old man behind. That nigga, that nigga syndrome, or that that spick syndrome, or that whoever that, that where how we were in the world. That shit get kicked out out of the. Uh, that shit get kicked out, man. That shit is no longer. Cause a lot of that shit brought a a lot of confusion. Cause you could try to bring you could be a like a top executive. Not saying you don't use your business mind state that you may have in the world, whatever that was. And bring it to the truth and help enhance. But if you were somebody like a, some some top on the top management state or some, not saying you push your leadership uh, styles because we all need that. You know, we were all we came through different walks of life and we bring that to the table. And it's true and it helps build us, you know, make us better, bring us bring a, a, a strong leadership into this. That's 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 good, man. But with the mentality like, you know, I'm the boss because, you know, you come from a maybe you you got a lot of money. You could you could be, you know, coming to this truth and, you you know, you well off. That don't make you somebody. And it's true. That's how how it is in the world. And even among some of these other camps, they might, you know, bring you in and, you, you know, you might rise to the top because of your of your status and, you know, your your financial status. But in its truth, that's not it. It it doesn't matter, you know. Scripture talk about being no respecter of person, and that's how it is. 
We all, you know, quote unquote, started at the bottom. We all, you know, in increasing and in, uh, spiritually, you know, we doing storing up our riches in heaven. We endeavoring to, you know, build up. And it's not about trying to be the top dog. It, that's not that's not the point. You know, it's, it's about all in all, it's about order. And we use that order, that the chain of command that's set up and it's been set up that way for a reason and it's working. So we use it. So I'm going to get this next one. This is, uh, I'm going to close it on this one. This is Matthew. And this is the point right here that made me uh come up with the title. This is Matthew's chapter eight. And I'm going to start at verse five. And when Yahweh was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion besetching him. It says, and saying, and that's basically a, a, a Roman officer. It said, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Yahweh said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. And that showed, you know, Yahweh, he was like, you know, I'll come. Yahweh wasn't even thinking like that. Not that he 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 already knew he could do that. But I'm just saying he was just like, you know, I'll come. I'll come to you. And he and, and that could have been him testing him, because I believe Yahweh he knew all this. You know, he knew all things. But he was like, Verse 8, it says, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come unto under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. And that's how, you know, that's that chain of command. And, and him as being a soldier, he understood that. So he knew how things work. Verse 10, it says, when Yahweh heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. He, <laughs> Yahweh was, you know, he was, he said he was marveled. Let me look up this word marveled. <laughs> he said he, he marveled like what? But Yahweh heard it, he marveled. It's a G2296. And marveled, it says, to wonder, wonder at admiration, uh, to admire. Yeah, so uh, Yahweh, he, he admired him for that. He just looked up, you know, that, that boy good, you know. <laughs> he said, you know, like he was just like, dang, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That all you need is the word. He knew his faith was was up there. So verse ten it says, "When Yahweh heard it, he marvelled and said to them that followed, verily, he's telling his people like, look, man, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. No, he didn't even find that nowhere in Israel. He said he marvelled at that. Verse eleven, and I say unto you that many shall come." From the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Yahweh Shai said unto the centurion, go thy way. And as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that selfsame hour. So with that faith that he had. And his servant was healed in that same hour. So he knew it, you know, that's the, that's the power of the chain of command following that. And that shows our faith, you know, by, by believing how things are set up through the spirit. And we, we, through our faith, a believe that these men prior to us are set up in the spirit and it's the a chain of command set up. So a brother I'll tell you something and it's in our best interest to to abide by it, you know. Now you you could you could uh uh what they say uh, two or three witnesses, you know, on some things. But 
a lot of times it could be just a brother just, you know, you'll ask him a question and he'll give you, you may be, it may not be the answer you want. A lot of times it could be something that you, you don't want to ask. You don't want to ask a brother because you don't want to get the answer that, you know, through the spirit that it could be something that you may not want. But we have to trust through faith that Yahweh Shmuel Shah has set up, you know, men in this order. And and uh, the answer we get, a hey, you it's usually the right answer, you know? It's usually the right answer. So Lord will this was edifying to the elect out there, and with that all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. That's why we say that. Double honors to our apostles and elders. Because we believe that that's that uh, chain of command that's set up through the spirit. So double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings. To you, I came out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.